yo, yo, what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Canelo Alvarez, arguably the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, the four division world champion, and the current undisputed super middleweight world champ. Then we have Terrence Tebow Crawford, the undefeated three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion 140, and the current undisputed champion at 147 pounds. Then we have Floyd Money Mayweather. Arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champion, the undefeated Mr. 50 and 0, Mr. Billion Dollar Man himself, the man that had revolutionized the boxing game and took it out of the promoter's hands and put it into the fighter's hands. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Floyd Money Mayweather want to let Terrence Boy Crawford know you might want to stay away from Canelo Alvarez because that boy ain't no joke. Floyd want to let Bud know it ain't easy as it look, buddy. Canelo ain't no walk in the park. Canelo is a bad motherfucker. And Floyd know that. You know what I'm saying? We all know Floyd went in there and made it look easy with Canelo Alvarez. But everybody else ain't Floyd Mayweather. You understand? Bud, you're a hell of a fighter, but you ain't Floyd. You dig? And Floyd know for a fact that, you know, Canelo now... It's a whole different animal than the Canelo he faced back in 2013. The boy got more experience, more skills, and the boy is way bigger and stronger. Now, when it comes to turns, Bud Crawford, Bud is a hell of a fighter. Can't take nothing away from him. Bud got a skill set out this world. It's crazy from the division that he's at. You understand? Um, trying to go up two more weight classes. No, three weight classes. To fuck with the Canelo Alvarez, it ain't going to work out for you, buddy. It ain't going to work out. Now, we all know Bud said, oh, well, we can do it at 58 or 60, right? That means he's going up two weight classes. But Canelo ain't doing it at no 58 or 60. Canelo wants your ass at 68, where he's comfortable at, or 65 or 66. And you ain't going up that far because you won't be strong enough. You know you won't be strong enough. You know what I mean? It's okay to dream, but don't go overboard with it because Canelo will put you in your place. And a lot of people make it as if I'm hating, but this ain't no hate. This is just a fact of the matter, bro. This is the truth. Terrence Bull Crawford, he know it himself that he too little for Canelo. He said it multiple times. Multiple times. And Canelo ain't fit to cut no slack on nobody. Y'all see this man right here? This man is a killer. He ain't go slow down or he ain't go feel bad for you. You get into that ring with this man, Canelo go try to knock your goddamn head off as he's supposed to. This is the hurt business. This is not the friendly business. You're not my friend. You're trying to take off my plate. You're trying to stop my career. You're trying to make me look bad. You're trying to embarrass me. I'm going to do the same thing to your ass. You understand? So Bud might want to stay the hell away from Canelo Alvarez because he ain't going to no 58 or no 60. He's not. I told y'all earlier, it ain't worth it. Not for Canelo. Not when he's pulling in the money that he's already pulling in with the opponents that he already got set up. Terrence Boy Crawford does nothing for Canelo Alvarez. Terrence Boy Crawford does nothing for no Canelo Alvarez. Just being realistic here. Y'all can take it how y'all want to take it at the end of the day. But if he was going to fight Canelo, Canelo go call all the shots and, and put it at his terms. And Floyd want to let him know. You might want to stay away from that boy, man. Tell him, Floyd. Tell him. Canelo hit hard. Canelo does everything um, good. That boy got defense. The boy got head movement. Boy got a great jab. Boy got good speed. You dig? A lot of shit they try to criticize Canelo for, he actually does. You know what I mean? He actually does. Now, Bud, stick to 54, man. Make that your last division. If you're going to go up any more weight classes, 54 should be your last division, bro. You're 36. You already went up three divisions. 35, 40, 47. Then you got 54 right there. And... I'm going to tell you, at 54, he better be careful. He better be f the right fight. Because even at 54, them dudes bigger and stronger, they hit harder, bro. Bigger, stronger, hit harder. Now, you know, the little Terrence Crawford faggot nice and fanatics and, 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 you know, the ones that just, just be radical, they can feel like Bud can go up to these weight class and, and he can do this and do that. But his weight class is for a reason. The same thing he told Javante Tank Davis, his weight class is for a reason. He understand the game. He know what it is. He know not to put too much weight on his ass going up fuck with them dudes. You know what I mean? Because the weight going to affect him, not them. I repeat that. The weight is going to affect him, not them. Understand what I'm talking about? 
And they going to show up and show out like, like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. And try to make their name off terms, Bill Crawford ass. So he better be smart. You feel me? Now, some people look at this thing and they be like, well, man, Canelo, he got beat by a little Mayweather. Mayweather want that big. Mayweather want this. Listen, Terrence Crawford is not Floyd Mayweather, man. Y'all have to get that out y'all head, bro. A lot of y'all listen to that Tim Bradley shit and y'all letting that shit go to y'all head, bro. Bud is not Floyd on no level. You feel me? Floyd Mayweather defense is totally different. Floyd Mayweather legs are totally different. His IQ is totally different. They fight different, bro. They fight totally different, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, Bud is a hell of a fighter, but Floyd is the GOAT. <laughs> Floyd is the GOAT, bro. It's shit that Floyd do that Bud would never be able to do. Let's just be realistic. Now, y'all can look at Bud collecting undisputed titles at 40 and 47 and think that put him above Floyd if you want to. Don't be stupid and don't be naive now. Don't be stupid and don't be naive. You feel me? Floyd Mayweather is a different type of animal inside that square circle, bro. A different type of animal. And y'all love to try to compare the two. There's no comparison. They get the job done two different ways. Two different ways. But you respect the man enough to say, you know what? You're a bad motherfucker and I don't take nothing away from you. You understand? But when it comes to inside that square circle, man, Floyd Mayweather mastered that shit. He mastered it. You dig? And even the Canelo now, this Canelo, if this Canelo wants to fight Floyd, he'd give Floyd a hell of a, a run for his money. A hell of a run for his money. Trust me when I tell y'all. The experienced Canelo that learned from Floyd Mayweather and that been winning, 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 winning after Floyd, he gave Floyd a different type of run for his money. Even Floyd had to admit to that. You dig? And y'all know I still got Floyd winning. But he'd give Floyd a whole different run. And Bud, Bud can't do nothing with this Canelo. He might get in there last a few rounds, might even make it 12. You understand? But he ain't beat no Canelo, bro. He is not beat no Canelo. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Y'all can feel how y'all want to feel. Canelo is just too big and too strong, man. Too big and too strong. And he's smart as fuck. And he's smart as fuck. You dig? So when I'm looking at the situation, man, um, it's just talk. It's just talk. You know what I mean? And Floyd let him know once again, if you take your ass up there fucking with Canelo Alvarez, yeah, you really going to be retiring a little sooner. You going to be retiring a little sooner because Canelo going to take a lot up out your ass. And if you lose to Canelo Alvarez, who knows how, how, how you recover or how you feel from that, you know? Because Canelo don't have to get in a rematch. <laughs> Let's just put it out there. You know, the shots that, that Bud got the call with EJ, he ain't going to be able to call those shots with um, Canelo Alvarez. Nah, Canelo's on a whole different level for us. The negotiations, tax bracket, and all type of shit, bro. It's going to be in Canelo's favor. So, um, Bud might want to think again, you know, when it comes to showing that room Canelo Alvarez and saying he'll face Canelo, even that 58 or 60. You know what I'm saying? It'll just be too much for him, bro. Canelo go blow back up. You know what I'm saying? Hella big. Bud, you know, you ain't never fought that much weight on you before. Um, would your legs be there? Would the speed still be there? Yes, you got the IQ where you can move. But once Canelo start touching your ass, man, start laying that leather on your arms and on your hips and gloves and shit, you got to know that you're now with a whole different animal, bro. A whole different animal. Respect you for wanting to challenge yourself and for having the hearts and the balls to want to fight Canelo. But at the end of the day, it ain't going to turn out too good for you, champ. It ain't going to turn out too good for you. So, like I say, he was opposed to the question. Um, he answered how he answered. But he ain't going up to fuck with Canelo. Like I say, Floyd will tell that boy, if you even think about going up to fight Canelo Alvarez, you better be smart and you better think again. Because ain't no do-overs in this, in, in this boxing game. Ain't no do-overs. You did? So once again, it sound good, but it ain't going to happen. Good luck to Bud in, in, in his future. Shouts out to Floyd. Well, definitely shouts out to my guy Canelo. Can't wait to see you September 30th. You know? But Bud and, and Canelo ain't going to never happen. And if they do get to talking about it, Floyd go talk his ass right up out of it because he better be smart if he want to finish his career undefeated or have a chance at finishing his career undefeated. Because fucking with Canelo Alvarez, you ain't got a chance. Straight like that.